Hello from Teacher Toy Shop. Today I'd like to show you how to make a pop-up layers of the earth card. So the finished product will look something like this. You may have a variation, but for example, when I open this, you get a pop-up earth showing the various layers and you can label the parts here. Um, this is another variation that's included with the template. If you don't have the template, I will include a link to it in the comments or in the description. Okay, so that's the final product. The template consists of pages that look like this. Again, yours may be black and white or it may be gray in the background. There's different, different um, variations included with it. Um, and then it may be printed double-sided. If it's not and you want it to be, um, just glue these two pages back to back. And then this one again, it should be printed double-sided, but if it's not, if this piece is separate, you'll need to glue that to the back of the brown sheet. So the first thing you need to do is to cut out the pieces, which I have already done here. So I'm gonna take this sheet away. And then um, you just need to follow the folding rules. So as you've noticed, this says valley fold, this says mountain fold. So if you have the longer lines, longer dotted lines like this, fold it like a mountain. The shorter dotted lines, fold it like a valley. So right here, the center of this is a valley fold. So I'll fold that like so. And then um, the other folding that I left to show you was this double-sided piece here, which is not complicated at all, but it's perhaps the most complicated of all of the pieces included. So again, on this side, they look like mountain folds. Of course, on this side, they look like valley folds. And I'm just going to fold the crust of the earth. like so. Okay, now this one needs a little bit of glue. You'll notice it says glue one on top of here, glue two on top of here, and these are one and two. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue some here and here. Hmm. Like that. Okay. So that's the crust of my earth. And then the next step is um, you'll notice this has a three and a four. So this says glue three on top of here, glue four on top of here. So um, take some of the leftover glue I have from gluing the crust of the earth and a little bit more from my bottle. And I'll glue this here and like that. And then it's really this simple for the rest of the card. Um, the next one right here, letter B, um, it has a five and a six on it, so the five and the six get glued right there. And then seven and eight. This time I'll put the glue on this piece, it doesn't actually matter if you put it on the base or on the piece. So there's seven and eight, and finally nine and 10. Making a funny sound with my glue. Okay. And that's it, you should obviously let it dry for a few minutes. Um, 
And that is the layers of the earth model. And then you can label the different layers of the earth. So there's a, um, you probably see on here, D, C, B, and then A is labeled on the inside and then also right there. And so you label those there and then F and then E, this line is supposed to rise up to the crust. And you can label those there, put your name at the top. Um, your version may not have the labels. If you, if you printed the version that has that doesn't have labels because you're just using this as a card, um, then that may be the case. So that's it. And once it's dried, you should be able to fold this um, and then reopen and the layers of the earth pop up like so. Um, I should add that yours may not have anything printed on it at all, particularly on the front here, if you're um, intending to use this in, a, um, in an interactive notebook. You can just glue the back um, into your notebook and then this should stay closed. And then again, you can open it up to study um, the earth structure. And that's it. Thank you for watching.